Chat, let's watch more videos. Let's watch more videos, shall we? Shall we, shall we, shall we? And this time, we are going to watch online ads are getting out of control. I don't remember if you guys recommended this or I found this on my own. But we shall watch it because we like talking about ads here, don't we? The internet is paid for by ads. You probably got an ad before this video. Social media these days. No, I didn't. I have YouTube Premium. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. Wait a moment. Here, YouTube Premium. Because I thought that's the least I could do for uh, if I already watch other people's content. This is a constant feed of ads. And if you're lucky, if you go to a new site, you can sometimes see a little bit of the news through all the ads. These days, you even get ads if you pay for the service. Oh my ads god, this one is so ridiculous, bro. That one, that one I have absolutely no empathy with. Like this one. Like Prime Video. Like... The lowest tier, you still get ads. Fuck off. Literally... Get the fuck out of here. This is bullshit. Ads have become an accepted part of using the internet. But they've only been getting worse. Companies have been getting greedier and started pushing an insane Six amount of ads of on users. Not only that, but every little personal detail of your life is now being tracked by giant internet conglomerates to serve you better ads. Yeah, and ads went from you. simple and non-intrusive to this. The and they're loud, the they're fuck? in your face, they're scammy, they're smutty. And that's when they're not just literal malware. Wow, ads have gotten pretty bad. And users are getting tired of it. More yeah. users than ever before are using ad blockers now. But companies mm. have started to go to war against ad block users. Again, I have said this before and I will say it again. If you watch an ad blocker, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. YouTube might recommend me less, I guess, if I say this directly like it is. I don't care. Use an ad blocker. Even if you're here on Twitch, use an ad blocker. I don't give a shit. Or do it. I very much appreciate the guys, though, that do not use an ad blocker. Very much appreciate it. Because that's how I get my YouTube money, right? Like, like, ads are literally the way I do make my money. Like, I tr do try to make a living off of the YouTube ads. So, uh, very much appreciate that one, though. Just saying. Now it's an arms race to see who can block the other one better. The sites with the ads or the ad bloggers. I All of this has led to a this, big in this regards though. I remember when I was still using ad blockers for YouTube. And when this shit was going on, at times YouTube was freaking slowing down because you used an ad blocker. YouTube was slowing down. It didn't load, nothing worked. It was Oh. Fast ads are cringe using code key scenario based. <laughs> True, true. Like, look here at the bottom on the right here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Um, here. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Bait online. Is blocking ads right or wrong? How is the little guy, and more importantly, the giant mega corporation, supposed to make money if you block ads? But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Also, in regards if there's a website that says... To view this content, please disable our ad blocker. Shut the fuck up. I'm leaving your website. <laughs> In order to see the full extent of just how bad online ads are getting, I had to do the unthinkable. No. I had to turn off my no. ad blocker. In my research for this video, I tried not blocking ads for a week after years Holy of using an shit. ad blocker. And the internet is really bad without an ad blocker. First off, ads now are extremely invasive. They're no longer just a small static banner ad under a YouTube video I like they used to be. Not. Now there's unskippable ads and constant interrupt. How many? Bro! What the? By the way, I have no idea how many ads are running on my YouTube videos. I do like the automatic placement. So if you get this many ads on my videos, it's, it's, it's the it's automatic placement. I have not actively placed those ads there. Just, just saying, just saying. I, I, I'm lazy. I'm lazy, okay? I, I'm not going out of my way to place ads. 
I, I, I CBA with that. Corruptions throughout every video. Now I can't go on a news website without getting buried in ads. And it's not just ads, but I'm now getting obnoxious pop-ups on news websites telling me to sign up. There's... You usually only get pre-rolls on my videos? Really? Really? Because... From what I know, a video has to be 8 minutes long to get mid-rolls. So that one's confusing now. So that one's confusing. Pop-up auto-playing videos everywhere. There's cookie banners on every website. How do people use yes. the internet like this? One of the biggest things I noticed is that all of these ad companies do a terrible job of actually screening their ads. How many times have you been advertised blatant scams? How about a get rich True. quick course promising? Have you all seen those ads on YouTube? <laughs> those fake Mr. Beast ads that Oh, you've won a million dollars! Click here to redeem it! And that kind of shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And to make you millions while you lay in bed. Or how many times on YouTube have you seen an ad with a picture of Mr. Oh! Beast and... Literally that. There it is. There, there it is. No way. Is. Mr. Beast is giving away a thousand dollars to everyone who clicks on this ad. Wow, thanks pre Mr. Beast. Pre-watched, pre-watched, pre-watched. <laughs> Wait, because it can get worse. <laughs> Simple scams aren't bad enough. How about malware? Google has had multiple cases of Google search results advertising fake, malicious versions of software that you search for. And they're put above the actual search results with very little to show that they're actually ads, unless you're really paying attention. And you yeah. might think that these are just obvious scams that only your grandma would fall for, but yeah. these scam ads are getting pretty sophisticated. Bro, uh, we had people in my Discord that are actually falling for those Discord scams that are like, please, I I need to, to make money off of art. I I I I need to pay for my grandma's bills. Please, please commission me, please. And as well as the freaking Discord password ones, man. Discord scams, yeah. Discord scams, where people freaking DM you and say, your account has been compromised. Click here to talk to a pe person. And I, I told them, bro, it's a scam. No, no, they told me it's real. It is real. No, it's a scam. No, they said they're, they're a Discord master. Uh, I didn't want to believe it. But there actually are people that dump, that are using Discord. It's insane to me. I still don't want to believe it after I'm countering them. Bro. Two from your server, three from Rosie's have DM'd me, I just block them. Chat. Chat. And anyone that's watching the video that is on my Discord. If you get them, let a mod know so we can eat them. Let a mod know that they DM'd you. Like, open a ticket. Open a ticket, let us know so we can yeet them out of the Discord, please. Like, don't just block them, let us know who it is as well. Here's one example for an ad for the image editor Gimp that takes you to a fake version of the website where you end up downloading malware. Can oh, you tell the, the difference between the real Gimp website and this fake Gimp website? The domain only slightly differs and uses the exact same homepage. And yes, even if you're too smart to fall for these scamming ads, There's millions of internet users of aren't people. as savvy. Yeah. Some ads you don't even need to click on. They'll just start executing malware as soon as they load. Very what? efficient. And yes, ads that give you malware have been around for ages, but they're still alive and well. A couple of years back, even the FBI, of all people, wrote a press release recommending people the to FBI. use an ad block for their safety. Wow. That's how bad it's getting. Wow. Ad blocking software doesn't just block malicious ads, but even malicious websites. If you want to download the password manager KeePass, you might think to type in KeePass.com. Okay, seems like a legit place to download it. But if oh, I turn on no. Uplock Origin, it lets me know that I'm at the wrong website and is. Oh no. Oh no. Probably just saved me from bricking my computer or downloading a crypto miner. Oh Thanks, my. Thanks, Ublock Origin. And if that's not bad enough, ads and tracking scripts just end up slowing down the internet for everyone. If you use the Brave browser, I I actually want to open that or, website. Or downloading a crypto miner. Keep keeppass.com. Uh 
Uh, let me see. Keypass.com. Keypass.com. What happens? I just get on it. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. And I'm using an ad blocker. I'm not using a uh, fucking uBlock origin one, but that's not good. Thanks for the follow, Econ. Thanks, uBlock Origin. And if that's not bad enough, ads and tracking scripts just end up slowing down the internet for everyone. If you use the Brave yeah, browser, it has this nice feature that I like that shows you just how much bandwidth and time you save by blocking ads and trackers. And you might not think that's a big deal if you have blazing fast internet, but for millions of internet users that are in developing countries or yeah. using rural internet that's not as fast, some websites can literally become unusable with how bloated these ads and trackers make them. So, online ads are bad. We've established yes. that. But the ads you see are just part of the problem. Because it's no longer enough to show you ads that you might be interested in. Now ad companies need to know everything about you to give you more targeted ads. And companies make billions of dollars trying to give you the most personal ads. Users give away a lot of personal information to websites all the time. People search for some personal things on Google. And these companies realize that the more they can collect about users, the more money advertisers would pay to get their ads in front of the right eyeballs. Oh, so shit. ad companies now know you better than you know yourself. And they use trackers around the internet to collect as much as possible about you. Sure, sites like Facebook are tracking you while you're on it. Everybody knows that. But Google yeah. knows every website you visit because you use their web browser. You view their ads yeah. on every website. And you're secretly yeah. tracked by Google Analytics, which is on yeah, just course. about every website out there. But that's not even half of it. Not just your browsing history, but everything in your life is being mined for personal data. Thanks to online advertising, everything. now even your bank is using your transaction history. My bank! To target ads to you. Is nothing sacred? Oh, and that new smart TV you bought? It's also handing over all your personal information to advertisers. I don't have a smart TV. All to make more money, baby. It's a very Hi. creepy idea that you have to give up any sense of privacy in order to use the web. But that's the implicit contract you agree with when you use the modern web. Ublock Origin, one of the most popular ad blocking tools, doesn't even call itself an ad blocker. It calls itself a content blocker. That's because the most nefarious things on the web aren't just ads anymore. It's the underlying scripts that track you, fingerprint you, and use all kinds of advanced techniques to follow you around the internet, all for the purpose of giving you more advertisements. Here you go, if you church. don't want companies to collect all your personal information, you're not a bad person. Oh my God, the argument would be different if we were simply talking about non-intrusive print ads like in the pre-internet days. But yeah. ad technology has become much more invasive and insidious. And blocking ads and trackers is one of the only ways to opt out. And all the issues with ads these days, it's not going to get any better. Companies are going to keep squeezing out as much money from their users as possible. The problem is that these big platforms like YouTube and Facebook can't grow anymore. They've already gotten basically the entire world's population yeah. <laughs> using them. The market is saturated. And that if they true. can't grow their business by getting true. new users, they need to start getting more money out of each user if they want to continue to grow. With big businesses like this, it's not enough that they're profitable. They're accountable to shareholders who demand that the business keep growing year over year. Space. And YouTube adding more ads, <laughs> tracking down ad blockers. That's what that looks like. They need each user to start making more money for them. Same thing with Amazon Prime now adding ads to their video streaming service. Ridiculous. That's right, you're already paying $15 a month for Amazon Prime, but now you also get ads with that. And if you want to remove them now, well, you have to pay an additional $3 a month extortion fee to get rid of them. Yikes. Like everyone else, they're upping That's the ads That's literally to what it is, an extortion fee. It's nothing else. Oh my god. That's... <sighs> and I'm using Prime. Like, I'm not using, like, Prime Video. I'm using Amazon Prime for deliveries because... Hello? Amazon deliveries are hella quick? Of course I use Amazon even more money from you. So what's the end game of the ad-based internet? They can't just keep adding ads forever. Once the user experience gets bad enough, eventually people are going to stop using the website. Over the past few years, you'll notice that less and less sites are just using ads for revenue. YouTube now offers YouTube Premium for an ad-free experience with additional features like being able to download videos or background playing on mobile. They Big news really, websites like Bloomberg. They really need to make a second tier for just being able to remove like not just being able to remove the um ads but like separating youtube music like i love youtube music right 
Like, the YouTube music player is pretty fucking sick and I love using it when I'm outside. I love it. I love it. I love using it on the go, but I'm, first, I'm not outside that often. Secondly, it costs so fucking much. Like, bro, make a second option to just be able to remember the, uh, to, not to remember, sorry. To remove the ads. And, like, have the background player, too. Berg have the are now paywalling a lot of their content. Of course, if you do pay for it, you still get ads. More YouTubers are making even the majority of their money from ads. They're also paywalling video and content behind services like Patreon, or relying on donations or merch. The ad-based model of the internet, wherever... For me, merch hasn't been that profitable yet. I don't have a Patreon. I don't have anything to paywall. <laughs> merch, again, wasn't profitable yet. Since I had to pay the commercial fees before the art. So it just... Ouch. Okay. Uh, yeah, the art. That's crazy. Code Kitsunara. <laughs> uh, Gamma Subs probably has been the most profitable so far. Definitely. Definitely. Like Patreon. Or relying on donations or merch. The ad-based model of the internet, where everything is free and you pay for it with your data and attention, is but not like the YouTube only business model. The most it's just the one that we've gotten used to. Because there's also the fact that the ad-based economy has made the internet a much worse place. Google search results are practically useless these days because every website you open relies oh on ads God. and clicks. Oh uh, bro, the first results are always sponsored, 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 sponsored. You gotta scroll like down half the fucking site to find someone who isn't sponsored. It's so annoying. They have no incentive to actually make the content good because as long as they can get you to view an ad, they've won. That's why nobody respects journalists anymore. Oh, Gone yeah. is the impartial calm reporting replaced with clickbait and rage bait. Literally. And you get poor quality articles where the only goal is to get you in front of ads no matter what. Ads drive websites like Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter to make you as addicted as possible. Because the longer you spend, the more ads you view. They're not trying to make the service better, just to increase engagement and keep you on the app longer. And if that involves ruining your mental health to make more money, then so be it. But people are getting tired of feeling like they're being used by the app instead of the other way around. There's a whole other angle that excessive advertisements is coming at the cost of the world's mental health. How are you supposed to be content while getting constant reminders about how your life is not good enough until you have their specific product or service? It's pretty intuitive that the more ads you view, the less satisfied right. you're going to feel with your life. But for all you guys out there who want a source, a study that took place over decades and across 27 countries showed that the more advertising people are exposed to, the less satisfied they'll feel. Big shock. The world Whoa. is being ruined by overconsumption fast enough as is. We certainly don't need more consumerism and malcontents. So it really shouldn't come as a surprise with how bad the internet has become with ads that more and more people are using ad blockers. Now, you certainly aren't a bad person for using ad block, no matter how many pop-ups you get about how bad you are. And people are getting tired of having their privacy invaded and their personal data sold to advertisers to get them to buy more junk. People are tired of offensive, invasive, and malicious ads that are not screened by Here's a hot tag. I don't care if I get targeted ads. Because in the end, it just, like if I really needed something, it would be in a sense be a little bit, like, sort of beneficial to me, right? And on the other hand, well, I'm not getting a lot of ads on the, to begin with. The bad, like the bad part comes in if they sell the data for malicious intents. That's when we have a problem. That's when we start having a problem. In my opinion. So, in the end, I don't really care about targeted ads. Personally. I think there, there could be even a good thing if, like, you really needed something. Snake, thanks for the follow. Ad companies like Google. People are tired of having companies trying to extract every last cent's worth of value out of them. They're tired of services getting worse while at the same time getting more and more ads. Users that use Adblock are not just being greedy and wanting something for nothing. They're against everything that the modern advertising industry stands for. The advertising model is not the only way to make money online, and I think the more we get away from it, the better off society will be. 
There are plenty of people that want good content on the internet and are more than willing to pay for it. You can support your favorite creators by donating. People are willing to pay bloggers on Substack. They're willing to pay for apps and monthly subscriptions if they really get value out of the service. So yeah. the internet can survive without ads. The biggest losers will be those who create content and blog. Targeted ads mean almost always I bought something and got shown the exact same item for two weeks, which is ridiculous since I already bought it. Mm. I don't know how they work. As said, I use an ad blocker. <laughs> in that case, like, in that case, that's just stupid, yeah. But again, in theory, I don't think it's that bad. In theory. Dog spam that isn't good enough for anyone to want to support it financially. And is that any great loss? Now, ads are not going anywhere anytime soon. But I think that you'll continue to see more of a pushback and creators and companies finding other ways to monetize besides ads. And honestly, good riddance. Okay, sorry, my bad! My bad! The internet is paid for- <laughs> My bad, I'll leave! I'll- <laughs> I'm- I'll leave, my bad! <laughs> you heard him, YouTube! You heard him! Good riddance, I guess! Bye! <laughs> Thanks for watching!